<laughs> and it's just a video. We're going to show you the training of Cow Summit Gym and uh, all of the boxers. I am Renee Armstrong and today we're at the location of the Nakon Tong Gym, Jatui's camp for the champions of Lumpini Stadium.
Next swarm down, swarm down the body after they've been training and use a lot of muscle, uh, use a lot of energy. And now they try to get the body warm down and back to normal and have to warm down every part of the fighter body from hand, neck and hip and knee, shoulder and jaw and everything yeah, after the finished training. So warm down, it takes 10 minutes to warm down. That means 10 minutes they try to warm every part of the body. Last session of training is called sit up. All the professional Muay Thai fighters, they've been sit up, 300 sit up like this, non stop. 300 sit ups. The fighter, Thai, Thai boxer, they're training with weight. That means that weight is left right hand side. That's 20 kilograms of weight. And on the left hand side of us, that's 30 kilograms of weight. That's practice the jaw and neck, and then to building up jaw and neck stamina. And then some people grapple or somebody punching to the jaw. They can take punishment to keep fighting. This is neck only. To build up neck stamina, and someone try to pull your neck, you has energy and power for your neck to take punishment. Normal training, after been work with all everything, that extra time they had left, they were training with this, this, this way. To building, to building up neck stamina, head stamina, jaw, jaw stamina, and get ready for take, uh, take punishment to the opponents, big boy. He's a top ten, top ten of Lumini Stadium, uh. top ten of Thailand at the moment. Lan Lan Siam, Lan Siam. I think rank number two or number three of Lumini Stadium. This another, another sit up. This Thai fighter has been training to keep the body and stomach strong and hard. When they fight, they can have more power to attack and more stamina to take. <laughs> It WBC top WBC ranking of boxing. He used to fight and for challenge world title for the WBC world title in Korea. And uh, now he's training to fight for boxing the, for the BBC ranking. Bounding, that means uh, you see that pet still don't move. The fighter training two five minute rounds and one minute breaks. That's they always been training with they call pounding. Almost Muay Thai or Thai fighter is training with this. This punch you can see on top. That's a face. See? And uh, underneath of underneath they call body. You can see face and body. The punch used for uppercut, hook, cross. 
yeah, between left hand and right hand. Can use practice left hook, right hook, left cut, light uppercut, and right cross, left cross as well. Can do anything with the boxing skill. Can be right hooks, can be left hook, can be right uppercut, can be left uppercut, anything they want to hit. The body, face. This training is practice boxing skill only. Normally is two rounds per session. In the morning, all the fighters gone for run 12 kilometers and then come back. Shadow boxing, kick pad. That's some they do regular. This is international boxer training. All of them they fight and competition in uh, WBC organization. And these two fighters here is top 10 of WBC ranking at the moment. <laughs> Depend on people, they want to move. Technique is called technique workshop. Uh, in Thai, they call Len Cheng. Most old Thai fighter, they try to uh, practice their skill and they try to repeat their skill and technique prepare before the real fight in the ring. That's very important technique is Muay, in Muay Thai. They can't miss it. They can use everything. Hand, elbow, knee, kick. This now is just normal, not, not high speed and low speed, just normal, just normal. <coughs> High speed or low speed? High? I mean, high speed or low speed? Yeah. <laughs> now let's try to make like normal. They're, they're doing normal, like the training. Normally, we training technique, workshop, four rounds, five minutes per round. All together, 20 minutes, one minute per round, and have a break. Next sec section is they call grappling in time in pump. This is a this is a main Muay Thai fighter. You can't miss it. It's pump or grapple. That's the way to make a Thai fighter so strong and Muay Thai strong when they fight. That's the way to, to practice the grapple. That means it's a in in inner fight fighting. And this another way is building up strength and stamina of the fighter body. That's that's the training every day, at least 45 minutes non-stop, grapple or pump. They use knee and elbow and twist the fighter, is fall down on the floor. It's knee, you can knee it's every part of body, yeah. legs, but jaw and knee to the head. Yeah. You can use elbow at the same time when you start kneeing. It's when you elbow, you can knee at the same time. Yeah. And the arm is when the people grapple. They prefer to grab first. More chance to do a lot of work. If you grab later, they're too late. And all the fighters will try to put their arm inside of another person's arm to get the neck first. Uh, they can do 
knee and elbow, or elbow and knee, depend on opportunity, you know, or chance, chance to attack. See, that's the end of training today. No. Like this. <laughs> We have come to uh, Muay Thai boxing in Po Pao In in Bangkok, Thailand. <laughs> WBA. WBA. Ah, okay. He's Polish man. Polish man, okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, ไม่มาแล้วครับไม่ได้ครับอ้าวครับปล่อยสิมาก้าวไปต่อยกินมูนูนูนูเนี่ยอย่างนี้เราปล่อยปล่อยมันไม่ดีกินแค่ก็สอง
Welcome. Um, we're located in Thailand. Uh, my name is Tobias and I'm from Sweden. We are from in the camp of Anansan at Khao Samrit Gym. Welcome. Um, that was a uh, fighter of uh, Jok. Um, he has 65 fights, uh, 57 wins, and 10 KOs. And uh, he is the uh, the best fighter at the Rajadamnun Stadium now for the moment. Um, and he is um, a hard competitioner at the Lumpini Stadium. And the training starts uh, six o'clock in the morning, uh, around about uh, 10 kilometers. Uh, then it's uh, three hours training, uh, so the training is finished about uh, 9.30 in the morning. Then we have um, dinner, um, for breakfast at uh, 10 o'clock. Then we sleep until um, 2.30, uh, get ready for practice. At um, 3 o'clock the practice starts, runs about 5 kilometers and trains until uh, 6.30. Oh, but, um, the food here is uh, only only Thai food, uh, practical, um, everything the boxes need for protein, vitamins, everything. So it's a really good food here. Um, most of the time, uh, when the training is finished, we at the at the mornings we just sleep until the afternoon, and uh, when the training is finished at the night, uh, we just look at movies. And then we have to sleep again because we have to get up at 5.30 in the morning and get ready for practice. Um, and there are some rules here that uh, they are not, not uh, allowed any girls here uh, because they are professional boxers and they are afraid that uh, they will interfere in the boxing. Um, and the age of uh, the boxers is between 14 and a half up to 22. 20, 22. Um, after the fight, um, they are most um, hurt in the, in the legs, um, in the appetite. Um, it gets a lot of uh, knees and uh, hits. And uh, the cuts in the face can be about the elbows. So uh, when the cuts uh, open in the face, uh, they cannot train for three or four weeks. But, uh, the owner will not allow it. So that's good to heal. Heal well. They go away six o'clock in the morning to sleep at the hotel and uh, get massaged and uh, get really, really um, about it. Get really cared about. It. Yeah. 
do four, four rounds on the pads, uh, just with the legs, to uh, get the strength out of the legs. And this is from Thailand. This is from Thailand. I will say goodbye from uh, Kausamrit Gym and uh, from all the boxers. I wish you the best luck.